Hi everyone and welcome to another video that helping you keeping up to date with all of the latest and greatest Cloud Manager has to offer including Cloud Backup, Cloud Volume Sontap, Cloud Tiering Data Sense and even FSX Sand for NetApponta. Let's kick it off. Do you know how companies like Apple and Samsung adding special names to their phones to make it more special? Introducing Cloud Backup Ultra Pro Max Plus. This release of Cloud Backup includes major capabilities like object locking to protect you from AWS or even flexibility in deployment. Let's start covering the different features. I'll start with the biggest one in my mind that Cloud Backup now supports object locking plus versioning. And what does it mean? It means that if it's enabled, no backup will be able to get deleted ever. And also, if someone will try to delete it or touch it, a new version of the object will be created. So we will detect it, alert the user, and we'll revert back to the original state. Make sure your backups are safe. This month, we're added our next gen index catalog for Azure. Usually, an index catalog is a very robust service, it's really hard to size and maintain it, create a lot of headaches for the customer. But it's in the customer environment, so it's what OnePlus or they can go with a SaaS offering that will manage their catalog, but then it, the data won't be contained in the customer environment. Our catalog basically has it all. It's fully managed and fully protected. It's super fast, it's super cheap, it has unlimited scale, and it's contained in the customer environment. So how do we do it? It's actually pretty cool. We based it on cloud native big data technology. In Azure, it's Synopsys. In AWS, it's Asina, and on Google, it's BigQuery. That's, that's amazing. You should try it out. In addition, we added flexibility in deployment. Previously, the connector had to run in the customer cloud account. Not anymore. It can be on-premise. It's truly hybrid now. It can be deleted and redeployed because it's stateless. All your data is contained. So now you can just do the connector dance. Cool. Did you know that you can actually install Trident using Cloud Manager on your fully managed Kubernetes? And then you can use Cloud Backup to actually protect the data? You want to see how it looks like? Very easy. Just discover the fully managed Kubernetes cluster and we support EKS, AKS, and GKE. Just discover it and it will be added to the canvas. Now we just need to go to the right plane, click on the action required. Install Trident, it will take a second, then install the storage class, select the working environment, you're set. The next step is to protect that cluster, so just drag and drop it and enable the backup. Follow the backup activation flow. You can also select to tear it to Glacier if you want, that's an option. Just make sure to select auto discovery because this way, every time a Kubernetes admin will create a new persistent volume, it will be automatically added to the backup by Cloud Backup. Easy. This is a small change that makes a huge impact. Do you want to see another small change that makes a big impact? Like this video, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> now, when a user will allow Cloud Manager to create a security group, will automatically limit it to the VPC CD range to make sure no externals will get to the cluster. If you need to access it from another VPC or from another account, obviously you need to change it. Just be aware, we'll also modify the different APIs. I'm guessing that everyone here knows about FSX for NetApontap. Well, did you know the awesomeness you can get from managing it from Cloud Manager? Let's see what you can do. And this is just the beginning. You can now easily discover your FSX clusters. Just select the right cluster you want to discover. Hit discover and it will be added to the canvas as long as you have the right permissions. Additionally, let's look at our provisioning options. So you just access the cluster. Click on add volume. I'll provide the details. In this case, I will create an iSCSI LAN, provide the details. And that's basically it. Done. Additionally, you can change the system throughput directly from here pretty easily. 
And now let's see how we can create replications. So just drag and drop like you do for CVO. That's basically it. Easy, right? One of the gaps I see today for an object storage is data protection. Because if you suffer from a regional failure, it's game over for you until today. Because Cloud Tiering now supports advanced configurations that allows you to attach to and aggregate two different object storage and on top will mirror synchronously the data between the two object storage. So you can now very easily create backup for your storage grid on a public cloud or create multi cloud tiering to make sure your data will always be available and always be safe. On Cloud Manager, we like to create synergies by taking two services and combining it together to provide better value. And this is exactly it. We took data from ActiveAQ and we put it in the ransomware dashboard. So now you can easily see all the vulnerabilities your clusters have with all the data related to ransomware, if it's from Cloud Backup or DataSense or very soon Cloud Secure as well. That's also easier especially for security sensitive customers. Previously, you had to work with your friendly cloud architect in order to get a mapping of all the different permission and why do we need it. Now, everything is available in the documentation and I'll put in the description below the link and you can see exactly which permission belongs to the deployment phase, which permission belongs to the day to day. So you can decide for yourself how tight and permission you want to provision. Let's talk about DataSense clean migration and ability to clean the data before sending it to a destination in the cloud, for example. So we got many requests from customers to leave some kind of a breadcrumb behind. So in the case they won't remember where they move the data to. So we, so we can create a small stab, a file that the user will define that will be kept at the source location indicated where it's moved to. Pretty nice. Something else we added is the ability to see exactly what did we scan. Because we're constantly scanning, it can be hard to keep track. So just wait for a few seconds and you will see exactly how much mapped and classified data you have for each data source. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. And if you stayed so far, please like this video. It helps spread the love to different customers. Hope you enjoyed it.